What's good, my good people? It's your boy, Big G, Stocks and Cigars, episode 19. Man, we have seen some volatility in the last couple of weeks, folks. And let me tell you, I don't think that volatility is going anywhere. As I come to you guys today, on the evening of August 4th, we are looking at a market that is down over 90 points in the SPY, in the futures, and over 400 points in the in. Uh, in the NQQ, the, 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 the beautiful NASDAQ. Folks, we have seen um, Ethereum drop almost 29% in the last, call it, 14 hours. We've seen Bitcoin go from 64 to almost 54 in the last three to four hours, guys. We are seeing blood in the streets. But as a long-term investor, this is what you want to see. But this is also what we've been talking about on episode after episode after episode of when, of course, some of these gaps will fill, right? So if you've been patient with me, if you've been watching, then you know that we've been talking about some of these gaps in these charts that must fill. So just to give you guys a long story short, short version of what's going on, we've seen economic uncertainty as far as the numbers coming out really bad jobs report that came out on Friday that used to be bullish, but it was so bad on Friday that it actually turned bearish. j Powell came out, the market rallied almost 165 points just on what he said about cutting rates in September. But what we are expecting is for it to be a sell the news event, sell the news event. When he cuts those rates, what a lot of strategists are saying is that the market will sell off. We also had big news from Berkshire, your boy Warren Buffett, letting go 50%, 50% of his stake in Apple. Maybe he doesn't see uh, what everybody else sees as far as the bullishness when it comes to their AI strategies, and maybe he just doesn't see enough innovation. He has a $270 plus billion dollar stash of cash waiting to deploy. So whenever you see the big dogs, Bezos, uh, Jensen Wong, Warren Buffett kind of uh, starting to make some moves like that, you know something's coming. This reminds me of pre-COVID. This reminds me of pre-Ukraine, uh, where we did see a lot of the big movers and shakers start to liquidate some of their assets. And of course, they wait for those, those gaps to fill, and they get back in. Institutional investors are not crazy. They're not going to let this thing just completely fall out of bed and let you get those good prices without them getting in, too. So keep your eyes on that. Of course. If you look back three to four weeks when we talked about Eli Lilly, QQQ, SPY, and of course, one of my favorites in the game, Tesla, we were talking about how we saw the massive rally happen right after my boy came out and said, we're going to cut the rates. When you saw that happen, that was almost like a uh, precursor to all the blood in the streets. So, of course, they want you to see it going up and they want you to get bullish so that you can take it right back down and of course if you know the game you're going to be looking for that so that's why i really appreciate y'all that give me that feedback let me know that y'all watching and of course you're prepared for that now i'm going to put some things online tonight tonight um that's going to kind of navigate everybody through what we're looking at i'm looking at some serious gaps in nvidia's charts I'm looking at some gaps in Meta's chart. I'm looking at some serious gaps in Lily's chart. I'm also looking at some, some serious gaps in some of those other tech sector um, uh, charts. So if we can see those bounce, and of course the QQQs are going to bounce with it. So I am not looking to go in all in on puts. We've lost over almost 300 points in the last two to three weeks. So of course they're going to want you to say, oh, let's go out and buy puts, puts, puts. And then they'll rip it up, and of course, that's going to be a bad day for you. So make sure that you're protecting the bread, keep your head on the swivel, and everything is going to work out great. These are the times that you make the money, folks. This is what we've been looking for, volatility, volatility, volatility. Volatility is back. We've seen the VIX go from 14 to almost 24 in a cool 10 days. So guys, keep your eyes open and make sure that you're tuning in to what your boy is talking about over these next five to six days. These are going to be critical days. There's going to be some really, really critical things that are going on in these charts. And of course, we're through most of the big earnings, but the big, 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 big daddy is coming up at the end of the month, and that's NVIDIA. I think they come out at the end of August, and when that <laughs> report comes out, if there's any hint of slowdown of buying or slowdown of ordering, guys, we're going to be looking at more blood on the streets. So 
make sure that you're watching your boy Big G Stocks and Cigars. Again, coming to you guys right here from Mexico, episode 19. Boy Big G.